Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly. Shelly with the broken ankle. Still, still filming up here. I'm doing okay, I'm, I'm adjusting, I'm getting around. So today I thought I would, since you know, we're dealing with the broken, and I, I actually showered, I washed my hair, yay. Uh, by myself, actually no, there's nobody here in the house. My husband's gonna kill me, but I did it. Becoming more self, self-sufficient as we go on. So today I thought I would share with you the, I'm not monetized, it's not gonna matter. The oh shit makeup. <laughs> when I broke my ankle and, and I got home and they had me in an air splint for a week before they could do surgery, this is the makeup. This is the makeup I had to work with. A lot of it is stuff that I either had conveniently located because I was getting ready to travel and it was in like a carry-on or like these things, carry-on makeup. Right, so I, I, I was using some of these things for a while. And then some of them I sent my husband down and I said, okay, on the table there's this. And he grabbed this little basket and, and threw some products in there and I was able to make do until, I don't know, I guess I made it about a week and then I kind of hobbled, was able to scoot downstairs, throw a bunch of stuff in a bag and then he carried the bag and I scooted back upstairs and there I've been ever since. So I had surgery, uh, some days are better than others. A lot of ice, a lot of, a lot of medication that helps with the pain. I'm grabbing the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, actually. Had this conveniently located. Anyway, you guys, how is everybody? How are you guys doing? Is, or, I mean, like today, I've got some blue sky and sunshine, but it's later in the day. I'm filming this at about 3, 3.30. In fact, I probably just had a video go live. So my husband's band is playing tonight. This will be, I think, the third gig that I've ever not gone to in the last year plus. They're playing a big concert tomorrow, a, a venue that they've never played at before. And they sold tickets for it, which I don't know how I feel about the whole ticket thing. We played a lot of wineries and pubs where they don't charge people. And so then it's like, well, if you can see the band for free, where are you paying? But they sold out, they, they sold out and not free. <laughs> Band's a little nervous. This is the Ule Henriksen Banana Bright face primer. So I'm putting a little bit of this on kind of the peripheral of my face where I don't need the extra shine, but, and where I didn't put that uh, poreless putty primer from e.l.f. as well. So anyway, because we're traveling tomorrow and technically I should be reclining my foot up, uh, because of that, I am going tomorrow and I am not going today. I have, I have cuticle oil in here. That, that's not helping me right now. I'm glad I get to go, but it's gonna be a long day and they're gonna, I mean, doors open at like, Four concert starts at five, and we've got a good three plus hour drive to get there. So it's gonna be a very, very long day. They're playing for three hours. We're gonna stay over as opposed to, well, some of us are, the whole band's not going to, but my husband and I are gonna stay over, and then we'll head back uh, Sunday. So because of that, and because, well, you know, I haven't really been sleeping more than just, I think the longest time I've slept this week I was looking at my Fitbit, because you know my Fitbit tracks how long I sleep. The longest amount I slept in any one time was 57 minutes. Your girl's tired. <laughs> not, not tired like I've gone through 115 pallets tired, but tired as in, you know, she's weary. Little benefit, uh, was this Goof Proof? Yep, Goof Proof brow pencil. This is what I had. You know, you guys are, get tired of using it and seeing these things, but this is what I had. This is what I had at the time. When, when I could no longer have access to all my stuff. A little moisturizing lip balm. What was this one from? This is from, this is Sigma. I go through a lot of lip balm. This is nice because it's got a little bit of a pink tinge, tinge that kind of comes through, which is nice. I'm just grabbing shit from in here. I had this foundation. This is my Pat McGrath foundation. This one, however, is in shade 14. It's too dark. It's too dark for me this time of year. So even though I had it and I used it for a couple days, I needed 11 and this is 14. So I'm not gonna put this on right now, even though just note that this is, you know, at least I had some of the good stuff when I was no longer able to do, do, do the thing. But then I sent somebody back down to get this one from Lancome. You guys have seen me use this for like a month now. I'm not gonna apply it with my finger, my fingers, because you know, why not? When I went down and was able to get additional cosmetic products, I did decide, you know what, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the wearing, wearing the glasses and very low makeup. So I've been switching most recently, and I don't, I don't have it up here, it's my other thing, uh, to the, I have like a YSL tinted moisturizer. 
and then there's like a say one as well but the ysl tinted moisturizer i've been using that a lot this one from lancome is so beautiful though it's such a beautiful finish it's this is what i wanted the giorgio armani what is it the luminous whatever the stuff that smells horrendous this is what i wanted this one to be and i think it looks similar on the skin for less money right i mean it's probably 28 dollars cheaper 26 dollars cheaper and the shade is close so it has a lot of things that i that i think are very similar there's just no there's no stench and what i mean by stench it's beyond a fragrance it's i can't i can't do that stuff i don't know why somebody it's got to be the preservatives it's got to be the preservatives didn't didn't last very long Anyway, there's my Lancome foundation I'm super excited about. I did have them grab a, a sponge for me when they were down throwing things into this cute little basket, um, which my daughter got me for Christmas, by the way. But um, I didn't get it wet before I came in here and I'm hobbling around. My ankle's a little on fire right now, so I don't want to hobble too much. I'll say I have to. All right. I was smart enough, though, to grab these things. I think I had a, a thing on my table, like a little Lucite holder, and I said, just grab that. It has a lot of stuff in it. So I know you guys are probably tired of these, but I'm telling you guys, this is what I've been doing when I didn't have access to anything else. This is this is what I had access to. Brushes. I'm going to tap down and get this brush thing. This is like a Morphe thingamajigger. This might have been on the second the second run downstairs because I think the first one, the only brushes I had were what were in my carry-on bag. Do you see how fast that was? So pretty. I love this stuff. This, it's grounded. It's the Hue Stick from Live Tinted. I believe you can get them on Ulta. I originally bought these on Amazon and I think the Amazon ones have since sold out or at least when I looked last, they had sold out. Um, but I'm, I love how fast and how easy these are to blend out. I have zero, zero issues with them. Like these are gonna be, and it, I think it looks good too. I mean, you guys tell me, but I'm, I've got natural lighting, so I don't have my normal regular studio lights, but I think that, I think that actually looks really good. Uh, and did I didn't mention how easy it was. It's not, it's not a stiff formula that makes it difficult to, to use. You guys, these e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer, I suspect they're discontinued. I've picked up a bunch of these. To me, this is like my perfect shade of concealer. It's not too bright and too light. It doesn't settle in to my fine lines. I'm gonna use this dry, uh, dry sponge for lack of anything better right now. I don't have a good concealer sponge in here. I'm trying to keep it to things that I use, you know, during the first week or so. Anyway, I like the way this looks on my skin, this concealer. It doesn't seem to get kind of crepey and crappy <laughs> to go along with the crepiness. And because I didn't have a eyeshadow primer my first week, I didn't really feel like I needed it. I did have two liners. One of them is a lip liner and one of them is an eyeliner. So I'll just go ahead and throw this lip liner on. This one is from Persona. Persona. I think this was in a purse. Now I do have that lip balm already, so this isn't going to stick very well, but it gives the lips just a little definition, which is kind of what I felt like I needed. And then depending on what was going on, I either had this Dior lipstick in my purse or I had this Dior lip gloss in my purse. So that's what I had to work with. We're just going to put the lip gloss on right now, even though I'm putting it over the top of that balm with that lip liner. It certainly is way more fancy that way, looking like that, than it needed to be. In the first couple days, I did not have anything other than these blush sticks. So I'm going to grab one of these, and we're just going to use use one of these for blushes today. When I made them go down a second time, I actually was able to grab a couple more things, like this one from Scott, Scott Barnes, this, uh, what is it, color palette, contour palette. It's like their natural, what is it called? Snatch that face. <laughs> I don't know. But so I live in a town called Wenatchee. It's a total sidebar. I live in a town called Wenatchee and there's like a local music producer, not producer. He doesn't really produce music. I, don't, I think they're like a group, right? They're a cabal of local punk music. Anyway, it's called Snatchy Records. So Snatch That Face just reminds me of Snatchy Records sticking to what I had the original for the first week. I feel like that particular blush it, as a nudie pink color maybe disappears a little bit. It's better on that side. I feel like I lost a little bit, but it could be the light too in here. I have this curtain mostly closed. I'm gonna grab that other one. Wait, where's the other one? Which one did I just use? Okay, I think this is the darker one. We're just gonna put a little bit more of this up here. I have tried using these as eyeshadow. I just don't really like anything that's too emollient on my lids. I can't get into the whole like glossy eyes. It's just not. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this on here though. Uh, I can tell you while I'm talking about these particular products that I was stuck with for a week, 
I do like the way they look on your skin. I mean, they don't look too heavily made up. They don't really like sit on top. I feel like they just kind of meld into the skin, which is sometimes, you know, well, anyway, it's what I look for in cream products. The fact that these are uh, a stick, a cream stick product. I did also have this Dior powder, conveniently located, lucky me. So I'm just gonna dust a little bit of this on to kind of set down that cream product because that's what I would have done. That's what I did do. And then we'll just take whatever's left and kind of set down the perimeter of the face here. And the center. And then I was able, because these were both on my filming, or not my filming table, but my regular makeup table, I had the Nabla side by side and then I had this one from Adept Cosmetics. This is the Heather Austin palette. And you know, on a on a day where you're feeling sorry for yourself, this is a fantastic palette. It's a little much. It's a little heavy to wear with with glasses, frankly. So I was super happy to have this Nabla side by side palette. I had just really gotten into it. So I'm just gonna grab a brush and we're just gonna throw on a little bit of makeup. I like the fact that you've got a combination of sorry, glaring there. You've got a combination of warm and cool to cool tones. And I think you have enough range between light and dark. So I'm gonna take the lightest matte in here called Bonjour. And we'll just use that kind of all over my lid to set down any moisture that's left over from the cream or whatever. All right, you guys. So if you guys have been up on any of the beauty community gossip, you've heard all this stuff about Michaela and was she wearing false lashes? Was she not wearing false lashes? Did she disclose it enough that this was a sponsored video? Here's, here's the rule of thumb. You get anybody who has millions of followers and subscribers, they don't do anything for free. Just, just know that. Just know they don't do anything for free. You may trust her. You may think, oh, she's just like us. She's not. She makes a boatload of money and she has tons and tons and tons of subscribers. It's just like the Kardashians. When they hold up a product on their TV show, in their content at all, they're getting paid to do that. Just know it, just know it. Just regardless of what they say, just know they're probably getting paid. Just assume, assume that they're getting paid. Then you won't be surprised when you find out, oh, they're getting paid. All right, I'm gonna use, I think I'm just gonna use this one here and I've just got the same brush. Anyway, I'm just taking that mid-tone brown and kind of just defining my eyes just a little tiny bit here. Anyway, so if you guys are, if you guys are ladies of a certain age, you know this already. You, you're not surprised when someone's like, oh, she's getting paid for it. And oh, the ads might not be representative with the actual product. Kind of like when they say it's enhanced to show detail or or you can clearly tell it's CGI. Nobody's in an uproar over that. Oh, there's a filter. It's like that, that mask, that green mask stick that people were going on and like see it everywhere on Instagram. And they're like, oh my gosh, it makes your face completely poreless. Surprise, surprise, that was a filter that, that doesn't actually do that. It doesn't work any better than any of the other masks. And I didn't need to buy it to know that. It's crazy. It's crazy that people are shocked. Oh my gosh, what, she was getting paid for that? The, the font wasn't big enough? Here's, here's my thing with that. You should, not, you should not sign a contract without reading the contract. Newsflash, don't trust other people have your best interests in mind. When you go in and say, does this say the same thing as the last one did, you should still read it. If you're gonna put your name to something, read it. Read what you're signing. It's crazy to me that people sign stuff and they go, well, I didn't know. Well, I thought it was whatever else. Don't be stupid. You're putting your name onto something, you better know. Like when you travel, you go to a foreign country, you better know what the laws are, know what the rules are, know, know how to read the speed limit signs. Did I just spit my cheek, my chin? Anyway, it's crazy to me. People are like, oh wait, I didn't see it that, she's, that she said she was sponsored. She, nobody said how big it had to be. All right, I'm gonna take this kind of uh, mm, little slightly darker, what the first one was called Bonjour. Second one's called Halftime, this one's called Beauty Mark. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of it out here. I love this as a soft shade, kind of defines the eye without being like, oh my gosh, she's wearing black or dark brown or anything. Anyway, enough of my soapbox on the whole Michaela thing. I'm not surprised and I don't really care. I never, not for one single second looked at that mascara and thought, oh my gosh, this, this is the be all end all. 
And I know some people, you guys trust influencers, you guys trust content creators. You gotta trust the ones that are like you, right? I mean, I don't look at somebody who's, I'm not gonna look at somebody like, and I'm just throwing your names out here, no shade at all. I'm not gonna throw a look at somebody like Kelly Strack and go, oh yeah, she's, whatever she likes is gonna be exactly what I like. We're all individual. You should know enough to make your own decisions. Take what they what they give you. Like if they give you any insight, obviously use that to form your own decisions. But just because someone else loves something, prof professes to love something, doesn't mean you will. Just because it works on them doesn't mean it's gonna work on you. Shoot, my skin can change throughout the seasons, you know, let alone throughout the month. One month I might be like, oh my gosh, my skin is uh, cr um, cracking and peeling and it just feels gross. And other times it's like, where is this oil slick coming from? You can't take other people's opinions as that is the final say in it. You gotta have your own. You should, you know, you know this. I'm preaching to the choir. You guys know this. I'm just, I'm, I'm ranting here. Cool down shade, but it's called Rarity. This one right here. And I'm going to throw that all over my lid. I used all matte shades. Frankly, that's what I've been doing. And it feels like I put on a, a lot of shades, but it's still a very soft, subtle kind of look. I mean, it, I guess you could consider it still slightly smoky, but this is what this is what I've been doing. And it's light enough that I can wear glasses. I have heavy ring glasses. So I don't like to have glasses that are, you know, too heavy and then you have your eyes and then it just makes them look smaller. We don't need smaller eyes. It'd be nice if we have big, big, beautiful eyes, but that's not what I have. Okay, one more brush. I am gonna take, just because I can't leave well enough alone right now, I think I'm gonna take this one right here called Body and Soul, which is a shimmer. And it's a little darker for an inner quarter highlight, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Just a little tiny kiss of sparkle right there. Because I'm using it on a dry brush, you don't get too much pow on it. Right. So that's it as far as like, you know, the eyeshadow that I've been using on a regular. I have an eyeliner from Tasha Denona, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, another eyeliner from Persona. This is one of those that I picked up recently with that. I got that pink kit and then I got the orange kit. This one is the one that I think, this is the one that came with that bronze kit because I hadn't used the pink one yet. So I'm just gonna throw on just a little tiny bit of this right on the outer corner. These eyeliners are very, very creamy. And in my opinion, they do last pretty well. I spent a lot of time laying on the couch right now because I have to have my leg elevated. Not right now, I'm not following doctor's orders, but we're trying to avoid blood clots because that's like a thing. So because I've had my leg up and I've been spending so much time on the couch, if I'm gonna wear makeup, I don't want it to look like I've been sleeping. Okay, and I had one of these little travel sizes of Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. This one's okay. The mirror that I've that I've been using because I didn't have my big mirror with me. I feel like this mascara is just okay. It's a little thick now. I've only been using this sample for about a week. It's a little trial size. I think I got it from must have got it from Ulta when they had a travel size sale where it was like, you know, buy X amount and get a certain percentage off. I think that it's either that or it came as a gift with purchase with something else. I can't really remember. But I had it out because I think I was thinking about. Well, no, I was gonna, I was gonna travel with it. It was gonna be in my carry-on for something. And so I don't always travel with like a full face of makeup, but on particularly the long haul flights and right before I broke my ankle, I was getting ready to fly to Hawaii for work. And I think I had a red eye if I recall. So I wanted to, you know, have some makeup to freshen up with when I landed and hit the ground running. A little bit of it out here. I don't do a ton on my lower lashes just because I don't want it to travel down below, especially if I'm not familiar with it. That's it. There, there you have, I feel like I had this still handy. I don't think this was a, an ad after the fact. I think this all came that first rush of, you know, oh crap, I need makeup. So I'm just gonna dust a little bit more of this on just in the center. Might've even put on some, some setting spray, but this was my makeup. This is my day-to-day -day makeup for the, for the first week and a half of me being kind of messed up, kind of broken. So anyway, that's it. Nothing, nothing exciting, you know, not like, oh, wow, you know, but sometimes you put on a little makeup and even if you're messed up and you're like sleeping in the clothes that you wore all day because it's just too much effort and you're on the couch and, you know, you're relying on someone else to do stuff for you, sometimes still just putting on a little bit of makeup makes a difference and makes you feel a little bit more like you. I've said that just putting on my contacts sometimes makes me feel a little bit more like me instead of hiding behind my big heavy glasses. So anyway, you guys, that's it on the, on the, on the news front right now as far as with the ankle and I promised you guys I would show you kind of some of the things that I was using during my convalescent. This, th this 
And the mascara is, is, is everything I needed. These are more than just like the normal regular snacks. This is the one from Subtle Beauty. I threw on an extra couple in here because I wanted like bronzer type stuff, but I, I used it. I used it for the first couple days until I said, hey, husband, go, go fetch. He's been so sweet. I feel so bad. I I know that there are, you know, husbands out there that get super irritated and they're just like, I didn't sign up for this. And he has had the best attitude. There's been times he's been a little cranky, but for the most part, he's had the best attitude of, of taking care of me. And I am trying really hard not to take advantage of his kindness and just to be patient. Sometimes when I want something, I can't just hop up and go get it. Sometimes I have to wait for the commercial. <laughs> before he'll go get it. And that's totally fine. There isn't anything that I need. There is nothing that I need other than positive attitude, I guess. All right, you guys, um, that's it for today's video. I need to dry my hair I'm, I'm, because we're going somewhere. I'm actually, I washed it where I'm actually gonna dry it. I do wanna film a couple more things. I've got a stack of stuff that's come in. I've got some other actually non-drugstore things. I really wanna try that new blur, it's like a blur foundation from NYX, but it's not, it's not meant for my skin type. And I have added it to cart couple times now and managed to pull back every single time just telling myself it's not meant for you you don't need it. if you guys uh, would be so kind to go ahead and hit the subscribe button i would love to see you guys back around i do a lot of well i do a lot of content i do a lot of monday wednesday friday 3 p.m pacific 6 p.m eastern not a professional makeup artist not a professional youtuber now now i'm broken on top of it so i hope you guys are doing really well and i hope to see you guys in my next video so bye for now